video response week number two for Don Forge Cast. Apologize, I'm dealing with a little bit of a scratchy throat today, so I hope you can hear me. And he's talking about designing your own game. Now, I assume this could go both ways with role playing games like tabletop or video games. I'm going to go with video games. Someday I hope to make an actual role playing game. Uh, sorry, tabletop RPG. But I feel like that could be just an endless video where I don't really know where I'm going with it. I have thought about the perfect video game for me, though. So I can talk about that in a little shorter amount of time. First, it's going to start with character creation. And I've talked before about how this, the best character creation, for me, you need to have the most customizable character creation imaginable and professional wrestling video games have always taken the cake when it comes to that so a create a character system as in-depth as detailed as those get would be the starting point that's what's going to draw me in the most um, absolute character creation at that point and by the way this is a fantasy uh, type game so of course it is next would come the world and world building NPCs. It would be an open world game similar to like Skyrim. And you're going to notice there's two video games I'm going to be referencing a lot. I'm basically mashing two of my favorite video games together in this with a few other things added. So Skyrim, obviously one of them. Open world as in you can travel place to place without you know a loading screen at every entrance um, to a new area. Obviously cities, towns can be different, but that type of open world, uh, the world building would be way more in depth than a lot of games though. It would have so many places you could go, so many things you could do. It would, most of the, I guess, money spent on the game would be made on how it's going to look, how it's going to appear. Um, NPCs, another one, uh, the most in depth NPCs, even beyond any game out there so far, they're really completely different. Tons and tons of voice actors. Uh, they look different. A lot of some of my favorite games, even a lot of people, kind of feel the same and look the same. So NPCs crazy different. Now plot-wise, you and kind of like uh, DFC said, you can really influence the world and the plot. So let's say like a major war is going on, and obviously you have to choose a side. Well, you feel like you have choices there where you can choose one side or the other. Well, in if I could choose and design a game, you wouldn't even have to choose a side. Um, and if you didn't, things would just play out without you. You could maybe play in the background and do a little bit for one side and then go do some for the other. And whatever you did, it's actually going to influence the outcome. But you're not forced into a storyline in any way, which would be extremely hard to do video game wise, but this is me designing a game, so you gotta deal with it. Um, next up would be, okay, let's talk combat. And the best combat system in a video game, hands down, was uh, Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. Now, don't bother talking about that in the comments. I had Carl over at Natural 20 Films check it on the internet. It's true, so he checked that for me. Thanks, Carl. Um, but anyways, that combat system would be the majority of the one I would choose. How quickly you can go between, you know, using magic, uh, like spells and things, to different weapons, uh, to all sorts of different attacks. Just very streamlined, very simple in how to do it, um, but also can get very advanced and complex to master as you go along, much like Downforge Cast as well. So a system like that, just where you can, you don't have to, you know, go to a pause menu to change, you know, between fighting with weapons and fighting with spells. You just, it's different layout. You can just jump one right to the next. You can be completely hack, hack, hacking away at some guy with like a battle axe. And by hitting another button, you can cause an earthquake or you can send a different type of spell, um, even if you're not, you know, don't have a staff or magic equipped in one hand. So a system similar to Reckoning, if anyone's ever played that. Um, oh, what would be next in this game? 
obviously, like I said, a very, very cool storylines available, uh, but you don't have to just to go to them. And I would also have an option to play the game with, uh, uh, what do I want to call it, like a real time or a time constraint. So while this, say there's a war going on, there always is, while this war is going on, you know, in game time, so every time you turn on the game and hours pass in game time, you know, certain events are going to happen whether you're there or not. So take Skyrim, for instance, where, and I'm not going to throw any spoilers, and please no one else put down any spoilers in case anyone has not played it. But um, if you don't go do a quest by a certain date in the game or a certain hour in the game, then that quest is simply resolved on its own or you miss out on that or if you don't meet up with your friendly army here at this time they take off without you so real decisions that have to be made in the game um, heavy role playing always is a good idea I don't know how to talk about that as well for video game design um, how that would be available obviously hmm well there'd just be heavy role playing I'll hire somebody to do that but, so to recap, extremely in-depth character creation, customizable everything. And on that point, sorry, one last point. I'm, I've been pretty unhappy for the most part with most systems of crafting or like smithing items, building your own items, and that would be something that there would be an option to change. Usually when you build an item in most games, for most of the time, that item sucks. And I would have a system where you could... It'd be easier to get to a point where you have a better chance of creating an awesome item on your own if that's what you're really trying to push towards. So crafting would be completely different. So anyways, recap. Uh, professional wrestling style, custom, customization, character creation, awesome world building, a lot of money thrown into the world building and NPCs to make them very different from one another and a lot of voice actors. Then comes, you know, the plot or the stories that can, they're going to work themselves out with or without you. So you are choosing what you want to do. Along with that, the time constraints of, or the option to play with the time constraints so that you really do have to make decisions time-based. Combat system similar to uh, Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning, and that's the game that I have laid out for it. So, awesome topic, Andrew. And I hope to see what everyone else has. Once again, uh, Amalur, or Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning is the best game, so no arguing there. Thanks for checking that out for me, Carl. Hope to see more responses, and talk to you guys soon.